Hello everyone, I'm Mary and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you step by step how I created this double exposure effect image using Photoshop. Let's get started. I'll be using a portrait and a cityscape photo to achieve this amazing result. Okay, so I have my portrait here. So what I'll do first is I want to select my model here out of the background. So I'll be able to give the model a white background because we need a white background to obtain this nice double exposure effect. So I'll go ahead and use the quick selection tool to select my model. Out of the background. Okay, so now that I have a good selection of my model here, I'll go ahead and click on the select and mask option here. And then just to make sure my edges are refined, I'll go ahead and use the refine edge brush to here to make sure I get all the air in my selection. So now I have a good selection here. I'll go ahead and go to output and click on new layer and mask. Okay. So what I'll do now is I want to give my model here a white background. So I'll go ahead and click on a new adjustment layer. I'll click on the solid color and I'll use the white background. And as you can see here, the white background is covering the image so i'll go ahead and move the third color layer down and then i'll name the color field layer background and name the background copy a model so i want to make the background wider for the image so i'll go ahead and click on the background layer and I'll click on my crop tools or you can use C on your keyboard then I'll drag it out here so I'll click on content aware fill so Photoshop is going to fill this black space here with white color and I'll click enter so now I have the white model here then I'll go ahead and make my model your black and white I'll select the black and white adjustment here, here also i want to make the model darker i'll go ahead and click on forms just to reduce the brightness a bit just drag it down all right so then i'll go ahead and bring in my cityscape that i want to use here so i'll click on the move tool you can use v on your keyboard then i'll just select the here and drag it inside the model picture and then I'll drop it. So then I'll go ahead and scale down this picture here to fit in with the model picture. So I'll click on Command T for transform and I'll reduce the size I'll zoom down. Okay then I'll go ahead and zoom it out back. So for me to make sure that the cityscape picture would only show on the model layer. I'll go ahead and create a clipping mask for this three layer here. I'll create a clipping mask for this layer. So I'll name it city. Then I'll go ahead and create a clipping mask. So it's only going to appear on the model layer. Okay. So now we have it here nice. You can still adjust it if you want to. So after I have clipped the cityscape picture to the model layer, I'll go ahead and create a layer mask for the cityscape picture so that I'll be able to make sure we see part of the model space here. So I'll go ahead and use the brush to here. Then I'll make sure my foreground color here is black. Then I'll go ahead and make sure my flow is not that hard. I'll be using a soft brush. Then I'll make sure my flow is about 15%. Then 
say you now go ahead and paint another model the part of this face is going to show you can also make your brush bigger to make it faster also you can just adjust this to whatever you want this you can also adjust it adjust the city scale so if you just adjust it to your liking so yeah you have it this is the final result of the bubble exposure effect and thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and like my video and hope to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching do have a good day and stay safe bye bye